Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we are at a Porsche design event where they've launched a brand new two-in-one. But not only is this a brand new two-in-one that's a laptop, it's the first detachable two-in-one that's 360. I gotta, gotta push the push the button, and then you gotta be really strong. Yeah, yeah, that was easy. <laughs> Look at that. So it's a tablet, right? That docks into a keyboard. So let's see, like this. Yeah, and then. You can actually spin it around so that it's in the two-in-one tablet form factor. Now, it's a 1580 in terms of weight, which is actually quite light for a tablet, but you can get it in close on those gears, and so they've actually, bar Porsche's borrowed this element from the gear shift box. I could just watch this all day, back and forth, over and around. I mean, I'm not bored of it. I mean, but there's a few other things we can move on to here. So this is a 13.3 inch display, 3200 by 1800. Uh, beautiful IPS, really nice viewing angles uh, so far. But if you see at the top here, there's a couple of, you know, there's three cameras in there, IR sensor. So this has Windows Hello. And because this is a collaboration with Intel, because it's running an uh, i7 U series, the 7500 with 16 gigabytes of RAM, they have... I think used an Intel RealSense camera up here. So what that means is I bet there's gonna be some like depth sensing action. We're gonna be like able to wave our hands in front of the screen. They haven't confirmed that. That's just my guess because usually there's not three actual cameras at the top. They're calling this a borderless design, which is not true. There is there is a border here on the edge, and this top bezel bezel is actually fairly large, if I'm being honest. Uh, but that's because they have this real sense camera in there. Ten point multi touch, obviously. Uh, while we're on the side, why don't we take a oh, look at this pen? So this is also a Porsche design pen, right? Very beautiful, right? And then let's yeah yeah see that snapping woo. So feels very solid. So carrying on down to the the keyboard, uh, if we just kind of, let's pull up a notepad. Let me actually type something. This, oh my god, okay. This is how I type usually. Okay, so yeah, so we have, a, um, I'd say it's like maybe, I'm going to take a guess, like 1.8 or 9 in travel. It's, it actually feels quite deep, but this actually doesn't feel as good as the Microsoft keyboard. And I think that's because it is uh, rather thin. So this is, uh, in total, 15.9 uh, millimeters, and I think it's 7.7 7, uh, just for the top and the bottom. So we do have, a, whoa, whoa, that's sharp. That's a sharp edge. That's like, we could, we, we could do some damage with that. So this is what you press to take off the keyboard. But going around the side, we have, I'm just gonna close this up. Uh, this is a very sharp edge that they have on here. Uh, there's a, there's a, a matte metal uh, finish on the top there, which does carry around um, to the back of the device. So you can see that it says Porsche design on the back there. We have a brushed kind of finish with the, the kind of shiny elements within the, the design. But heading back down to the ports over here, the tablet itself has a USB Type-C, I think that's a Thunderbolt, yeah. So then we have, um, that's a fast speed uh, Type-C, then we have two full-size uh, USB 3 ports there, and then there's an SD, a micro SD card slot uh, there on the side. All of these feel really well built, uh, very, very nice. Again, we can have a closer look at these gears here on the back. So there is a plastic nub there, so when you put it down, uh, there's a slight angle. But let's just take a, a little look at the back and how these gears work. So I just, it's fe it feels very solid, um, you know, even, even more so than what we have with, say, like the yoga book. Uh, I just really quite like it. Uh, and then around this other side, we have a headphone jack. And then when you're in tablet mode only, that's a volume rocker there. And then that's where the power button is, which is very similar to, um, well, it's the other side from the Surface Book. All right, so I think I've gone over almost everything except for uh, what we're seeing under under the hood, which would be a 512 gigabyte SSD. So very fast. We have Intel, yeah, Intel processor in there. Uh, full Windows 10 from Microsoft, which is always really lovely to have. So the pricing, woo! We are gonna be shocked at two thousand seven hundred and ninety-five dollars in Germany this will cost you. Two thousand seven hundred and ninety-five. That's not as much as it actually costs to buy a Porsche. 
that's the upside to this price. <laughs> All right, so this was just my quick hands-on with the uh, new Porsche Design 2-in-1, which is the very first attachable 360 rotation 2-in-1 out there. That's quite a mouthful. All right, Nicole Scott here for Mobile Geeks.